Hey everybody, Mike Iaconelli. Want to talk to you about the recent Going Ike episode, my trip to Japan. Man, what a what an experience! Um, just a dream of mine to travel to Japan, um, not only to fish but to experience the culture and the food. To hang out with Marizo Shimizu was an amazing trip. But in general, the fishing in Japan was really, really tough. Uh, but there were a couple key baits that really stood out for me to catch those fish. You know, the one was um, a bait that is a little different than what most guys are throwing over there. Japan has some of the most crowded conditions you can imagine. So being different and standing out from the crowd is really key. And a couple of the very big fish that I caught in Japan came on a vibrating jig called a Mullock's Lover. And if you look at this bait, it's different than your traditional chatterbait style lures. It's got a bigger, broader, flatter reverse shovel lip and you're going to get a bigger side wide uh, action on that bait. So that was a key bait because it was different than what everybody was throwing. But when things got real tough, there was a standout bait that I fished that's a variation of something that everybody knows about. And I call it a mini punch rig. And a mini punch rig is a small scale down version of the bigger punch rigs that we throw here. And my goal in Japan, especially in that heavy cover, whether it was the wood or the grass, especially the grass, was to get this smaller bait in the grass to penetrate in and to just sh shake and hop my rod. And um, so here's the bait. You know, instead of a big four or five inch normal size punch bait, I went down in size. And this is the Berkeley Havoc Devil Spear, but it's the mini size, which is the three inch size. Same thing with the hook. I scaled down the hook side. Instead of using a four or five aught heavy duty hook, I went with a three aught VMC flipping hook. Perfect little compact hook for this bait. And the last thing's the weight. You know, traditionally when you think about punching, you think about three quarter, one ounce and a half, even two ounces to help it penetrate and puncture down in that cover. But in finesse punching or, or mini punching, you really want to go to a smaller weight. And in Japan, I went to a 3 8 ounce VMC tungsten weight, pegged to the head of that bait with a VMC bobber stop. And fishing in a crowd. You're going to see it in this video with hundreds of boats around me. Everybody finessing, throwing normal punch rigs. I was able to fish in the crowd with this mini punch rig and catch two of the biggest bass of my life. A seven and a half and then a giant eight pounder. So uh, this bait for sure was the star attraction of my trip to Japan. I hope you enjoyed the show.